Hi everyone, Luton here, and today I'm starting a new series, or new short series, called The Cutting Room. Now, I get lots of people asking me about how I manage my time, as I have a full-time job and everything else, uh, how I go about organising, and how I can, you know, help people to learn about making better YouTube videos in general. Now, I'm not a massive YouTuber, I've got 13,000 subscribers, so I consider myself still to be a small channel, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I can't advise and help a little bit on how I go about organising things. So one of the first things I would advise you to do if you're starting up, and even if you've got small content, it can help you plan out things better, is to set up some Google Docs. And the best thing about this is that you can set up different folders, different ways of organizing your content, okay? How are you gonna plan for the channel? Are you gonna have scripting? Are you gonna have ideas for your, your work and all this kind of stuff? So you can really plan out what it is that you're actually gonna create, so that if you have an idea, you don't forget it, you can come back to it and see it again. The next thing is to manage your files well, and this can be anything from audio scripts down to your actual video files. And here what we've got, this is all my audio files, alright? So you can see here at the top I've made a new folder for Aftermath this week, so I've got all of my commentaries for Aftermath, and then we've got Dishonored, we've got all the podcasts that I do, Pixel Junks, so some of my playthroughs there, there's a lot of other playthroughs actually Riven and stuff, but then I've got a main Battlefield 3 folder. So I know that when I want to go and pick up a audio file, when I'm working in the in the video program iMovie, or whatever it is if you're using files, Final Cut or Sony Vegas or whatever it is, you can go to a certain folder, there's your commentaries, you can just drag them straight in. So keeping organised really helps a lot and it helps you stay on top of managing your files and working through it all. Then we come to the video files themselves and again you can see that they're organised in very much the same way. Now these are project folders and the project folders, uh, within that I will have video projects and we can see that as we move into the next clip here actually on iMovie itself and these video files um, it allows me to see and organize again where all my content is so really one of the best things that you can do is just to stay organized keep everything in clear folders so that you want to find it you can go back to it if you want to cut it if you want to remove it you can transfer it easily to somewhere where you can back it up so it just allows you to stay on top of everything but when we talk about actually managing time itself and this is something that people often say is like how can I possibly create videos how do I have enough time to do it some people I've noticed even big youtubers only produce maybe one video a day well it's actually not that hard I mean I'm gonna do perhaps a more in-depth one about how I created my full review but what I would say is if you've got a lot of technical information to put into a video you're gonna to want to script it because it's very difficult to do a free talking video if if you have lots of technical information to put into it but if you're just doing a normal commentary then you can just talk over a video you might have different ways that you do about that you might watch it and record it separately or do it all in the same video program itself but the main thing is to to sort of plan ahead um, often with your export time as well that's the key thing is the export time and the upload time so often what I would do is I'll have a clear idea about what video it is I want to make I'll probably have already sourced some footage or something like that I will put that in it'll all be ready to go then I would do the commentary and then I can just leave it to export in its own time perhaps I often will export while I go to sleep so I'll prepare the whole video it'll all be ready to go I just start exporting it often can take an hour or two so I'll just go to bed it's ready for me in the morning, I upload it and it's ready to go. Sometimes if it's a smaller file you can export straight from the actual iMovie program itself and then that uploads straight to YouTube. Now going on into the next two videos as well, um, I've actually done two clips because YouTube advises you to export and, and upload your videos in a certain way to maximise quality. I've done two test videos which are going to follow this video on so if you can just look up, I'll add them in, uh, links at the bottom here for video one and two. and what I've done is I've exported one video exactly as I normally do and I've exported one video how YouTube requests. Now if you look at the videos there is maybe the most small increase in quality but the time it took to export that videos was hugely different. It's a 40 second video when I exported as I normally do it took what was it eight minutes or something to export when I exported it as YouTube requests it took 40 minutes so that is a massive difference in export time and the quality you get in terms of the difference is so negligible now some people have said as well that because of this or whatever that's my videos don't look good recently well actually I think it's that YouTube's been kind of screwing things around a little bit as they have done and the processing quality seems to be awful we've had loads of problems with processing recently I've had loads of issues with processing and I actually even went and compared some of my videos to other YouTube producers other big YouTube producers and looked at the quality difference you go 720 you put it full screen seriously again such small quality which may be you know tiny tiny difference if at all which probably comes down to the recording equipment as much as anything else and definitely not how you do it um 
think something people don't often appreciate is if you were to see the quality of the video that is exported from for me from iMovie or from whatever it is that you use you look at the quality of that and then look at the quality once it's been uploaded to YouTube you would be absolutely shocked it loses at least half if not more of its quality once it's gone through YouTube processing when it's in 720 on my screen right here it's crystal clear it's clear as a bell once you process it onto YouTube, even if you're doing it at 720, it becomes fuzzy, muddy, it loses so much quality. Now they obviously do this to keep file sizes down, to make sure they can process things quickly, get videos up for people, and for the large you know the large quantity of videos on YouTube that doesn't matter obviously for some gameplay videos it really does matter to people that they have higher quality but at the moment it just doesn't seem to be the case and I find it curious as well if you compare some of my videos now to some of my much older videos I really think there has been a decrease in quality from YouTube so coming up next are the two clips themselves I'll post them one after the other on the channel and uh, just have a look at the two differences they're very short and and if you can try and sync them up it would have probably been better if I'd have done it on a side-by-side -side video thing but then that wouldn't have worked because they have to be exported differently so it, I couldn't have done them side by side they had to be separate files um, so look at the difference as I say I think that is the tiniest difference in quality and it definitely doesn't it's not worth the massive amount of time that is required to actually export it in that way as always I hope you've enjoyed this video please rate share subscribe and also ask me questions um, if you are trying to become a youtuber if you're trying to make videos then leave questions about processing, editing, um, themes, topics, whatever it is you like, leave me a question and I'll try and answer it in the next one of these videos. Thanks for watching, see you next time.